What's going on, everybody? It's Nick Payne with Face Mask Fantasy. And before I begin, just a quick announcement. The first version of my redraft draft plan is officially available. It's the second link in the description of this video. That's just a simple click and download. You can also find it on our website at facemaskpod.com. I have player breakdowns for 150 different players and positional strategy based on how your draft may unfold. This is a living draft plan that I'll continue to update throughout the preseason as camp battles unfold and injuries take place. Be sure to check back for updates as I help you build the optimal team for you to win your redraft leagues. Now, on to today's topic. As we move into redraft for 2022, we'll profile some players and how we feel about them ahead of the season. If there's any one player you want us to profile, let us know in the comment section and we'll be sure to cover him. Up today, Packers rookie wide receiver Romeo Dobbs. The 132nd pick in the 2022 NFL draft landed in one of the most opportunistic situations situations a wide receiver could ask for this year. Not only will Dobbs be catching passes from one of the best to ever do it in Aaron Rodgers, but Green Bay has more than 240 vacated targets from last year after Devontae Adams was traded to Las Vegas and Marquez Valdez-Scantling signed with Kansas City as a free agent. The team's only major moves to replenish the position was signing 29-year-old Sammy Watkins to a one-year deal and drafting Christian Watson 34th overall, almost 100 picks sooner than they selected Dobbs. Alan Lazard and Randall Cobb are incumbents from last season that figure to start alongside a healthy Watkins. But Cobb will be 32 when the season begins, and both Watkins and Watson have spent time on the pup list to open training camp. This opened the door for Dobbs to get some extended work with the first-team offense, and he's taken advantage, consistently drawing high praise from his quarterback. Rodgers told reporters that Dobbs has made at least one wow play each day of camp so far, so it certainly sounds like he's making the most of this early opportunity. So who is Romeo Dobbs, and can he crack the Packers' rotation of receivers in his rookie season? Dobbs stands at 6'2 and weighs about 200 pounds, so he has ideal size. He contributed in college right away, playing in 13 games for Nevada as a freshman, catching 43 passes for 562 yards and two scores. He would go on to improve in all three facets each subsequent year. He finished his time at Nevada with back-to-back 1,000-yard -back seasons as a junior and senior, total totaling 20 scores and earning first-team all-conference honors both years. Dobbs ran a 4-5-40 at his pro day and has an impressive breakout age of 19 years old, both according to Player Profiler. He also contributed on special teams in college, so he could see a little bit of work as a punt returner in the pros. All this to say, Dobbs checks off all the boxes as far as consistent collegiate production. Watson, his new teammate and fellow rookie, is considered a bit more of a project with a higher long-term ceiling. But with the lack of playing time in camp so far, he's probably behind the eight ball. Dobbs could concede see some early season run ahead of Watson if he's able to continue building chemistry with Rodgers and capitalizes on the significant playing time he's going to get in Green Bay's preseason games. As I already mentioned, it's not likely he supplants any of the veterans at the top of the depth chart coming in as a fourth round pick. But Watkins and Cobb have battled numerous injuries throughout their careers. It's simply not likely they hold up throughout the entire season. So the younger guys on the depth chart are going to be asked to step up at some point. The vibes are officially strong enough to feel like Dobbs is the young player worth taking a chance on. He's currently got an ADP on underdog fantasy of about 177, so he's creeping into the 14th round, and that will likely climb as long as the updates remain positive. And with a wide open opportunity, that's something I'm on board with. Take a shot on him as your wide receiver five or six near the end of the draft, as it's officially likely he gets drafted in even shallow redraft leagues. Lazard will continue to command the highest ADP of any Green Bay receiver, and after that, it's a crapshoot. But Dobbs is looking like the best roll of the dice among the other Packer pass catchers, drawing praise from a Hall of Fame quarterback like Aaron Rodgers. That's a very quick look at the potential outlook for Romeo Dobbs' rookie season. What do you guys think? Put any thoughts in the comment section you have below, and we can have a conversation about this. We also host live streams on our channel all off-season long at 6 p.m. Eastern on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Come hang out, come get any questions, answered you may have, or feel free to bring up any other general fantasy topics you wish to discuss. Till then, this is Nick with Face Mask Fantasy. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for listening.